on the table, it's Ghostbusters Afterlife. Hey everyone, this is Dan at Squirrel Stampede and Hasbro has sent over the Plasma Series Afterlife Collection. Thank you Hasbro for gifting these to Squirrel Stampede to share with you guys today. Looking good, six figures to collect plus a build a figure inside each pack. So lots to do, lots to see. Exciting to see the Ghostbusters back on screen. Let's get to these amazing new classic old New, young, old figures, so much to go through. Let's start the review with Plasma Series Dance Race Dance out of pack already. I was super curious on how the old Ghostbusters would appear in this film, so I opened this one first early. We had just recently checked out Stance in the Ghostbusters classic figure line. There he is, albeit a little younger. And I actually have an older Plasma Series Stance, or should I say an older, younger Plasma Series Stance. I picked this one up, oh, a while ago. It just has not been opened yet. So there has been some stancing, stancing around. On the back of the box of the Ghostbusters Plasma Series Afterlife line, you will find six figures to collect from Hasbro, which gives you a Build-A-Ghost opportunity for a sentence terror dog and we have a short little bio Ray stance says don't go chasing ghosts but if you do call him I really wish they would have given us a little more bio there kind of short they left some room for other languages but I also see some blank space here they could have expanded on those missing the day of bio cards so yeah I got overexcited open stance oh there's a couple more things in this box still hang on a second And a couple more items out of the box, like the Sentinel Terror Dog's left or no, right leg. Not much to do with that yet. And a book. A old book. Very hard to read. I think it says Tales of the Squirrels or something. Hard to read. But it's a fancy accessory. Pretty nice. So looking at a plasma figure closer up, you will find them highly detailed, highly articulated, highly characterized based off the characters in the movies, everything you would want to see in a real life version down to an action figure inside this guy. Comparing him to the classics figure, I personally am more of a classics type of guy. Basic action figures are my thing, but this is so super impressive, I might just make an exception this time for me. It's pretty nice. Ray has articulation going everywhere, and a strong articulation. We have shoulders that hinge and pin. There's even another articulated point right below that. The elbows are double jointed. There's a wrist, head rotation, probably a waist torso. A little trickier because Stance is a heavier fellow sometimes. Dan Aykroyd can be. Uh, then we've got hips that can kick out and bend and rotate and knees that are super strong. And there's also ankles. So plenty of points of articulation to put these guys in which can be a lot of fun. There is also a lot of worthy gear on these action figures in the Classics Ghostbusters jumpsuit and then also of course with the proton pack on top right now. You can remove these proton packs actually. It's just a little tricky. You gotta take off these waistbands and everything. And then we have our plasma stream weapon here. And the figures look really good holding those plasma weapons. Let's see a charged particle beam stance. So one of the coolest things of the Plasma Series Ghostbusters are these particle beams that emit from their proton pack uh, weaponry. Look at this thing go, this is so much bud. But it's a nice double combo of plastic with a center orange stream and a charged electrified stream going around it. Looks terrific. So that is Ray's stance. We'll get to the dog builder in a little bit. Let's find another Plasma Series Afterlife figure to open up and I think it's going to be Lucky. So something kind of funny and lucky happened with this figure. When Hasbro first sent over these figures, she was not included. And when I saw the Build-A-Figure, I was thinking, I can't just open these up without Lucky. So I purchased my own Lucky. Oh, that's unlucky. 
<clears throat> so I purchased my own lucky figure only to have maybe a week or so later another box from Hasbro appeared with this lucky figure to complete the collection. So there you go. Thank you Hasbro again for sending these over to share. So if you're new to Afterlife and without spoiling too much from the movie, let's just go with the back of the card. Lucky, looking for trouble? Head on down to Spinners, where lifelong Somerville resident Lucky and her friends hang out. And that's it. Now we just must find what part of the Sentinel Terror Dog does she come with. And it looks like packed away in there is the head of the Terror Dog. Yikes. We'll just put this over here for a little bit. She also comes with a really cool, cool ghost capture drone device. We had just saw this recently when we opened up the Ecto-1 for the classic style figure line. This thing would roll out the back of the Ecto. So fun little accessory with that one there. But as for Lucky, looking good, oh, again. They may be a little tippy with those packs. Looking good figure, amazing detail. Again with these, the face sculpts are absolutely incredible. They do such a good job with the hair and eyes now. In the past, sometimes they look kind of creepy, but this is looking like a great looking figure. And it's nice to see the proton packs are given some great detail with some red and blue and white paint apps going here and there. And the Lucky with a purple proton stream articulated pretty much just as much as all of these knees and ankles and wrists and everything you would want to position them, but a little tricky sometimes when holding on to all this gear. Fantastic looking figure, let's look at a few more of the new castmates. Let's try and go in correct sequence now of the figure packs. Trevor, Plasma Series Trevor is the number one figure in the list of figures. Average, teenage boy Trevor, loves fast cars, reckless driving, cool adventures, and like stuff. He has the right arm of the Sentinel Terror Dog inside. Let's finally open up one brand new today, right now on the table. And out of the box with Trevor. He looks a little stranger without some of the things on him. He is currently not wearing his Proton back, so it looks a little different now. A little easier to stand. And yet another highly detailed figure, face sculpt for Plasma series. Let's see if we can get his Proton pack on. It's a little bit the same for all of them, I believe. There's usually a point on the belt that you take off here, just one point. And then we do a wrap around the shoulders and waist. Sometimes you have to go with the full legs going through that belt. Stance was a little bit trickier. This figure was pretty good. And the Neutrona wand, of course usually pops in down here way at the bottom and we should be able to do a wrap around and place onto the pack like so i think did i get that right there is no plasma stream with this figure though that's kind of a bummer but we do have a little chain of stay puff marshmallow men and i think they somehow will place on him i don't know it feels like they should wrap around one of his shoulders but i'm not getting there he can kind of hold on to the strain of goo, of marshmallow goo, so that kind of works. He can hold him on. His proton pack keeps popping too. The little neutrino weapon likes to pop off, so a little bit clumsy on this one, but still looking really good. The figure also comes with a little paper map, which is highly detailed, very small print. And of course, the right arm of the Sentinel Terror Dog, so we'll continue to place these pieces off to the side and we'll build him soon. So that leaves who's next in line. Podcast, podcast. I think Squirrel Stampede can relate a little bit. Lots of accessories with this pack, but I guess a smaller figure. So there's a little more room to pack in the figure pieces. Podcast, sure, he calls himself podcast. Sure, he has a podcast, but don't box him in. He also likes gadgets and battling with mini puffs. So the second figure of this line of the three new characters. This box got a little smashed up. Let's get podcast out. Oh, I think we've got the torso of the terror dog included. And it's podcast out of the pack. Funny, the tape on some of these things has degraded and just became plastic. There's a mini puff couple mini puffs, several mini puff accessories. We've got a little radio controlled unit and some night vision goggles. And I don't know what that is yet. It's pretty cool. This series has quite a variety of sizes and scales. Podcast, the smallest figure in the group, articulated pretty much like all of them, head rotation, shoulders, 
elbows, not double jointed elbows like Ray in the back, but their elbows none the same, and hips and lower hips and double jointed knees, and I think there should be some, a little bit of ankles in there under those pants. No proton pack with this figure, so not every figure will have a proton pack. But we can take these mini puffs and, oh, there's even a peg on the back of these mini puffs to wrap around podcast and give him a splat of marshmallow. Kind of tricky to get these mini puffs held onto, but he has the wrap around of the torso. He's holding onto one that has just jumped off. And then there seems to be a circular glob here you can place on his hands. Tiny, tiny little skull artifact accessory and his pad and night vision. It seems like just yesterday we opened up a Jurassic World Timmy with night vision goggles. I think almost everyone has a little point on their belt for items. So podcast, pretty interesting. And of course, the central torso. Look at this. This guy's going to stand really weird, I think. It's got some cool shine to it, though. Okay, next in line, Lucky was... Three. Oh, that's cool. We can check out Peter Venkman now. Classic Peter. Old man Bill Murray. And I actually have the older, newer, younger Plasma Series Bill here too to look at. There's Venkman. Young Venkman and older, newer. Oh, it's so hard to confuse these guys, right? So Venkman here, Plasma Series Afterlife. Professor Peter Venkman? Yeah, we were pretty shocked someone gave that guy tenure. <laughs> But of course, he is beloved, so let's open up and check out Plasma Series Vinkman. So it's Old Man Vinkman. I guess he can hang out with Old Man Harrison Ford, Han Solo. A little more gray, though. Another well-done, detailed figure. I always like how they have the name patches on there. Lots of great suit detail paint apps with these. Looking just like you would expect Vinkman to look like in the future of now today. Also coming with a leg. We've almost built our terror dog. And another proton pack to place on. Let's get this on. And all set with his proton pack. I guess the old team's plasma streams are orange with blue. Whereas the new teams are purple. I thought these had more of a difference in color. Maybe when Winston comes out, we can settle that. So now Vinkman and Stance out. I love the fact that they included the old characters too with this series. So the old of your fans can join in too and the new of Nor fans with this series. Also included with Vinkman are psychic cards. We have a star, we have a square, we have a river, we have a circle and a plus sign. So let's test out our psychic abilities. What do you see on the reverse of this card? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. It's Squiggly Lines River. Care to go again? Three, two, one. What do you think it is? It's a star. Did you catch that? All right, what could this be? Think really hard. Think really hard. It is a square. So use these cards to sharpen your psychic abilities. That is the Venkman figure looking great. All of these so far have been fantastic. One more figure in the group of six. We have Plasma Series Zedmore with Proton Pack Plasma Stream and a classified ads for a job. Ghostbusters for hire. Over on the back of the box. Winston, executive offices are a long way from the firehouse, but you can still always count on Winston. I love the fact that all three of these guys have been premiering together on shows before the movies released this past week. And opening up. And Winston, out of box. I am so impressed with the detail of these figures. They've nailed them pretty well down. Oh, and looky there, the old school characters have the orange and blue plasma streams all together. So Winston here with all the great detail, all the articulation, like the previous figures just seen. Let's get his proton pack on. There we go, proton pack is now on. Light her up. And check out that stream. Powerful stuff we're talking here. Great Zedmore figure. And that completes the six of the Afterlife Plasma series so far. Real quick, the old team for nostalgic purposes. And maybe set up the new team over on this side. 
So there is your Plasma Series Collection. Very nice detailed figures from Hasbro. Oh, and now finally we can build our dog, bringing back all the pieces of the terror dog. I don't often get a chance to do the build a figure stuff from Hasbro, as awesome as they are. I don't typically get into the Marvel Legends where you get to build the figure, so this is pretty exciting for me. Uh, probably not like that, right? That's an arm. So the arm up here, our right arm. And it feels like we've got kind of a half ghosted terror dog. And a leg, oh that's the wrong leg. Ooh, that's a tight fit. I think we got it. This is a very goofy looking leg piece. I wish they were more articulated on the legs. We'll see as we go. And then our arm. And finally, our head ball joint. And we've constructed our terror dog. How does this stand? This is a really funky stance. Oh. Okay, I think I got it. That is the weirdest stance of a figure. It's kind of lunging forward, if you will. Rotation on the shoulders. And a little bit of a pin hinge there, and rotation on the wrists, and head rotation with opening and closing mouth. But that's about it, because the legs are going to be kind of needed to always be... Eh, there's a little bit in the legs, but you know, because of the way he's lunging forward, there's really only one main, main position for it. So that's kind of too bad. But it's really neat. I like how he's grabbing onto Stance's arms in this stance. But build a figure is always welcome, whatever it is. It makes collecting a little more fun. It makes you go, I have to get the whole series now. Especially again when I didn't have the lucky figure yet, and that's the head. You have to have the head and the torso, especially. Really every part. I guess you could kind of not have an arm and be okay, but you need the legs to stand on, and you need the torso to build, and you need the head. So that's the Build-A-Figure Sentinel Terror Dog, if you're curious how that is. And it's a little bit larger scale than the figures. Feels pretty good in scale. So that again is the Afterlife Collection. Movie just dropping last week. Get a chance to get out there and see it. Great to see the old team together again. And it's fun to relight these plasma streams. And that's the Plasma Series Ghostbusters. Nicely done, Hasbro. Thank you again for sending these over to share. They have been a blast to open up. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamant. Who is your favorite Ghostbuster? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that.